Well, you guys got another video here for you. Windows 11 24H2 uninstall and rolling back to 23H2. We're going to be talking about some of the methods that you can use and some of the options you have available to you. So if you have upgraded to 24H2 and you want to roll back to 23H2, then I'm going to show you some of the things you can do here. So we're on 24H2 here and we're on a Windows 11 Pro system. It doesn't matter whether you're on Windows 11 Pro or Windows 11 Home, it's still the same process. And before I show you how to do this, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description and use my promo code capital B capital R09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they will send you your key. You can use this to upgrade from home to pro, or you can activate your version of Windows. So the first thing you can do is go to the start button here and go to settings. Inside settings, you can go up to system and inside system here, you want to come down to recovery on the right hand side here. So go to recovery and click on here and you should see a go back option under the recovery options. This is if you want to go back to the previous version of Windows that you had before. So you can see a go back button right here. If you don't see this go back button or it's grayed out, it means you've gone past the 10 day period that Microsoft give you to go back. So if you want to go back and you do have the option, click on go back and it will say share some feedback. We'd love to learn more about why you're going back. And they have the feedback hub and a bunch of other options there. First, it wants to check for updates and it will say this might fix the problem that you're having and you can say no thanks and you just want to go back. So what you need to know, you won't be able to use the computer while this is happening. And also, if you're on a laptop, make sure you're on power rather than just battery. Also, after going back, you'll need to reinstall some apps and programs and you'll lose any changes made to settings after installing this latest build. Are your files backed up? Make sure that you've backed up any files you have on your computer. Although these will be safe, it's always best to make sure because Microsoft will not be held responsible for your data or backing up your data. That is your responsibility. Once you agree to these terms, you can then click on next and move on to the next stage. So let's go ahead and click next here. Now also it's important that if you have used a password to sign into your previous build, make sure you know it because you won't be able to sign in without this password. Once you're happy, you can hit the go back to an earlier build button and this will automatically start to reinstall the old version of Windows that you had before. So in this case, it will be 23H2. And if it's another ver version that you are using, it will be a different version that it's rolling back to. It's basically using this windows.old area here and it's going to roll back to the previous version of Windows. Now, like I said, if you don't see uh, the go back option or it's grayed out, it means that you've gone past the 10 day period and you will need to do a fresh install of Windows. The other way of doing this is to hold your left shift key down and restart your PC. Once you restart, you will see a pop up here saying, please wait and then it's going to take you into choose an option. What you can do from here is go into troubleshoot. So let's go down and navigate to troubleshoot here. Click on this one. Once this opens, you can go down to advanced options. So let's click on advanced options and then you want to navigate over to uninstall updates. So click on uninstall updates and from here, you'll see two options. You'll see uninstall latest update and uninstall latest feature update. You want to click on the uninstall latest feature update and this will then take you to this window where it will say uninstall the latest feature update. If you're running into problems uh, since installing this feature update, you can uninstall it. And this is how you're going to go ahead and uninstall it. So you can see here, uninstall feature update and this will uninstall the 24H2 feature update that was rolled out to you by Microsoft. It doesn't give you any other options. It will just start the process and start rebooting the PC and then you'll see restoring your previous version of Windows. So this is another way of doing it, uh, but there's a little bit less control over this method than the other method. I've speeded this process up, but once this is done, 
you should be back to the desktop on your version of 23H2, which you had on the PC before. Now remember, all of this has to be done within a 10 day window, otherwise you won't be able to roll back using this method. And the only other option would be to basically do a fresh install of Windows. So you can see we're on 23H2 here. So let's assume you don't have the go back to a previous version option on the recovery section. That means you're gonna to have to download the ISO from Microsoft. Unfortunately, Microsoft are quick to change this. And now you can see if you go here and try and download Windows 11, it's gonna download the Windows 11 24H2 version. It's not gonna give you the 23H2 because they assume that you're not gonna be going back to 23H2. And even if you download the Windows uh, 11 installation media from their media creation tool, this is also gonna give you the 24H2. So the only other option you've got is to use sites like UUP uh, Dump, and you'll be able to download the Windows 11 23H2 ISO from here. Now these are legitimate versions of Windows and you can check the hash on these to make sure they correspond with the ones that Microsoft give you. But I do know that they are legitimate and they are proper ISO files that you're going to be getting from here. There is other ways of getting these ISO files. You have to be super careful if you're going to be installing these on your PC. But unfortunately, Microsoft have literally already updated their websites to only offer you the Windows 11 24H2, which means it leaves you in a bit of a dilemma and you're going to have to find a way to get that ISO file unless you already have it on your PC. Now, once you have the Windows 11 23H2 ISO, what you can do is create a bootable USB flash drive with that Windows 11 23H2 on it and then reinstall Windows that way. This will erase all of the data on the computer, so it's important that you back up all of your information before you continue using that method. Like I said before, Windows 11 23H2 has right up until uh, 2026 before it becomes end of life. So you have quite a long time yet before it's going to be end of life. So if you want to roll back to 23H2, you can do. You just have to make sure you get that ISO file or you have the option to roll back using the go back method. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.